In this video, we'll take a look at Amazon's two-step verification for selling accounts. Two-step verification, or 2SV, helps protect your seller account, even if someone has gained access to your username and password. After watching this video, you should understand what 2SV is, how it helps protect your seller account, and how you can enable it. We'll also cover some common questions and misconceptions. So, what exactly is two-step verification? Essentially, it's a security feature that requires two authentication steps to log in to an online account. For the first step, users provide something they know, a username or password. For the second, users are asked to provide additional verification, such as entering a temporary code texted to their phone or created by an authenticator application. This provides an extra level of security. 2SV protects your account even if an unauthorized user obtains your username and password and tries to log in, since they won't be successful without your cell phone or authenticator app to provide them a temporary code. As a security best practice, you should enable 2SV wherever you can. For example, your online banking or social media accounts. For now, we'll focus on how to enable it for your Amazon account, which will protect both your buyer and seller accounts. Since 2SV requires a way to receive a temporary code, you'll need access to two of the following to set it up for your seller account. One will be the primary method where you will typically receive codes, and one will be the backup just in case you don't have access to the primary device anymore. A phone that can receive text messages, feature phones are acceptable, an authenticator app, which can be installed on your smartphone, tablet, or desktop, or a voice-enabled phone, such as your landline. Please note, landlines only work as a backup method. We strongly recommend that you set up a backup method to make sure you always have access to your seller account even if you no longer have access to the primary device. Before we move on, let's take a look at Authenticator applications in more detail. Put simply, Authenticator apps are programs that create temporary passcodes. Popular choices are the Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator, which are available on both the Android and Apple app stores. Once you set them up, they don't need any type of phone or internet connectivity, which is great if you have poor reception or on a vacation without your usual phone number. We recommend using an authenticator app at least as a backup device for these cases where you might not be able to receive a text message. Let's get back to setting up 2SV for your Amazon seller account. To enable 2SV, sign in to Seller Central and pull up your advanced security settings by clicking Settings, Login Settings, and then Edit. From there, click Get Started. First, let's walk through how to set up text messages as your primary method for receiving temporary passcodes. For this method to be successful, you'll need access to a phone that can receive text messages, also referred to as SMS, or Short Message Service. Check with your phone provider if you're not sure. Once you get to the 2SV setup screen, select the Text Message, SMS option. Select your country code and enter your phone number. Click Send Code and you'll receive a text message with a temporary passcode. Enter the passcode where prompted on the 2SV setup page, then click Verify Code and Continue. That's it. Text message is now your primary method for 2SV. The next time you are prompted for a temporary passcode to log into your seller account, it will be texted to you at this phone number. Next, let's look at setting up an Authenticator app as your primary method to receive temporary passcodes for 2SV. From the 2SV setup screen, select the Authenticator app option. You'll need to have an Authenticator app downloaded and installed, such as Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator apps we mentioned earlier. We'll use the Google Authenticator for our example. The Authenticator app will need access to your camera to scan the QR code during setup. Once you have it ready, add a new account to the app by clicking the plus sign and then selecting the option to scan a barcode. Hold your device over the QR code on the 2SV registration screen, and the Authenticator app will automatically create a corresponding entry associated with your Amazon seller account. Authenticator apps constantly create temporary passcodes that are only valid for a certain amount of time. Return to the 2SV registration screen and type in the passcode you received on the Authenticator app. Click Verify Code and Continue. An Authenticator app has now been set up as your primary method for 2SV. If you can't use the camera on your device to scan a QR code, you can still set up an Authenticator app. You'll just have to type in the key manually. On the 2SV registration page, click Can't Scan the Barcode underneath the QR code. You will see a long string of characters, which is your key. 
Back on the Authenticator app, name the account whatever you would like. We'd recommend something like Seller Account. Then, type in the key without spaces. The app will now start to create temporary passcodes. Return back to the 2SV registration screen, type in the passcode from the Authenticator app, and click Verify Code and Continue. Your Authenticator app is now set up. At this point, you've set up your primary method for receiving 2SV passcodes, either through text messages or from an Authenticator app. As we mentioned earlier, we strongly recommend adding a backup method. If you no longer have access to your primary method, this will help you get into your account. If you use text messages as your primary method, your options for a backup method are a different phone number that can receive text messages, a voice phone number, such as a landline, or an Authenticator app. If you used an Authenticator app as your primary method, your options for a backup method are a phone number that can receive text messages or a voice phone number, such as a landline. Since we've already covered how to set up text messages and Authenticator apps, let's take a look at how to set up a voice phone as a backup. On the Backup Method page, select Voice Call. Select your country code and enter your phone number. Click Call Me Now and you'll receive a call. A voice call will be an automated message from Amazon with your temporary passcode. Enter the passcode on the 2SV registration screen, then click Verify Code and Continue. Your backup method has now been set to voice calls. There are a few more things to know before 2SV is enabled on your account. First, some devices can't prompt you to enter a passcode, such as a Kindle Reader. In these cases, you may have to append the 2SV passcode you received from Amazon as illustrated here. You'll also have the option to skip codes on the device you are using to register for 2SV. If you are registering from your home computer or one that you use frequently, you can check the box which says, don't require codes on this device. For future logins, you won't be prompted for a 2SV code since your device is now trusted. Once you're ready, click Got It, turn on two-step verification to complete the process. That does it. Your account is now 2SV enabled. Whenever you log into your Amazon account, you will be prompted for a 2SV passcode unless you are on a device you set as trusted. If an unauthorized user tries to log in, they will be prompted for the 2SV passcode and they won't be successful without your phone or Authenticator app. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.